Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number 36, I want to say, yeah, I think so, coming at you. Probably. Maybe. What's going on? If it's not the right one, oh boy. But we're back. I think it's probably the most anticipated episode right now of the season two. So here we are. We're back at it. And actually, today's a fun one. Um, if you guys remember way back when, we were talking about the need for some parking lots and some parks. So I thought we'd take just a really simple dive into the editor and make ourselves some assets. There are so many things you can do with this, like so many things. Um, but we're going to take a very simple um, approach. So this feels too intimidating, which it sometimes does for me. Um, this will be for you. So we'll make, yeah, three or four different parking lots. And um, I'd like maybe like a couple different types of parks. And then we're going to try to incorporate those into the, um, the build next episode. And uh, of course, because it's been so long, there is more content for the game that has come out. So we have some new um, everything's basically to play. So we'll go over those in the next episode as well. All right, so super simple. Um, I can see us down the road, no pun intended, maybe trying the road editor and um, definitely the intersection tool. But for the moment, let's jump into some parks. And the parks is going to be where we're going to find um, the parking lots and the um, uh, parks themselves. So very, very simple, very straightforward here. Um, what we're going to first do is uh, pick the size. We can use our mouse wheel if we want. Start nice and simple. And let's just do a really good old fashioned four by four parking lot. Okay, so um, before we dive in too deep, let's do a small amount of the tinkering here because you might be curious. So um, I think a good time to unlock this would be milestone one. So we're not too tempted at basic road creation to uh, waste our money. When we get the first milestone, we got a little bit extra dollars to spend, so let's wait till then. And then the rest of this stuff, there's literally nothing we need to do right here. The thing that maybe you want to do is under gameplay common, you can change the um, construction cost. Otherwise, I mean, most of the values, I'd kind of keep it as they are. Um, if you want no cost and no maintenance, of course, totally feel free. But, you know, for a little bit of challenge, right? And then maybe we want these to only be like $50, let's say. We're going to put down a whole ton of these, right? And there's no real reason to go broke, but otherwise, you know, default Dan's pretty good for all this stuff, right? Okay. Get rid of all that stuff. Now, um, first thing, let's paint it. Zoom on in. We've got concrete. Pretty straightforward. When you're choosing your theme, we could have picked anything, and then we can make assets that kind of go along with that, right? But for a parking lot, totally universal. This could be a snow map. Okay. Now, um, next thing we're going to do is go to common. We're going to move on over to these streets. And we're going to grab just some um, parking spaces right here. So we can do them individually. We can do um, uh, electric individually, which is kind of cool. And we can do with a cluster, um, one handicap and then two regular. So keep everyone who's accessible nice and handy in here. Unfortunately, you can't do the accessible ones on their own, but you know, say Levy. Okay. Now, one thing you'll notice is the um, markers themselves seem to want to fit in the square. But if you do end up doing this, this is a personal preference, you may not like the spacing in between. So it is a total personal preference thing. I tend to like to overlap them. And given the size of the asset, I'll kind of like hopefully make it look clean by maybe picking the middle. So it's like um, a mirror on, uh, on both sides. And then we can get rid of the lines by going into um, the, uh, the photo mode. And don't forget to take your pictures when you're ready to upload. And this is where people are very um, scrutinous. So it's no problem if you want to maybe take um, two or three laps to trying to um, to fix this stuff, right? Um, oh gosh, you're going all over the place here. There we go. Now you'll um, notice really quickly um, when I clicked over on the roads, you do have a certain number of um, props you can use within this right here. So where was I before? There it is. So the more things I place down, these are included. Um, the more RAM and that kind of stuff is going to take up. So don't necessarily max it out every single time. And just, you know, be consciously aware of that. And then the game will tell you to stop at some point. So don't go, uh, don't go overboard. Okay. To rotate, we can do a um, hold the right click and then move your mouse. Or if you right click itself, you can do um, 45 degree angle turns. We'll give a little bit of space here so the bumpers don't kiss. Slight overlap. Look at our pictures. You know, it's not terrible. 
a slight a bit of room for improvement if um, if we're being very critical of ourselves here. And honestly, if this kind of stuff doesn't bug you, just go for it. Totally no problem. If it drives you crazy, feel free to fix it. Why not, right? We're uh, we got all day, right? Okay. But I think this is the kind of game where like you gotta kind of make a little bit of mistakes, right? Sometimes stuff doesn't look fantastic, so. Now maybe the um, the asset itself is a little bit crooked, but that's that's neither here nor there. As long as it passes the, uh, it's good enough test, right? I said it's good enough. Okay, so for a simple start, this is more than than enough here, and we're intentionally leaving space. So that if we want to stack a few of these next to each other, um, we're not going to have cars kind of like awkwardly driving in front of each other. Because if there's a road place, say along here, um, and the vehicle wants to park right, right there, it's going to kind of beeline. So you want to have really like no obstacles between you and the uh, the parking lot. Okay. So picture. Work it. Work it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it feels like it's kind of like a V shape almost, but it's all good. And then... Some nice uh, blacked out thumbnail. And in case you're kind of like, oh, which does what? If you hover over, it'll tell you what these are for. So it captures screenshots to be used as thumbnails when saving. And it's no problem if you end up taking too many of these. I'll kind of show you how to delete them too. This one's just a pretty straightforward one too. Cool. So let's go ahead and save this now. And then in your pictures right here, see we got one and two. If I had too many or ones that I did not want to use, we can click on this little envelope. It's actually a folder. That'll pop up in another window, or maybe over top of this if you're on one window, the uh, the folder on your computer where these are located. And then just go ahead and like delete them that way. So you can click on it. You can hit the uh, delete button. You can right click delete, bring it to your recycling bin, move them to a different asset folder. But yeah, and then this is where you're going to find them. In the tooltip, we're going to hover over the one that we want down there. So that's kind of cool. And then in the description, I mean, there's nothing too crazy about this, right? Name and description is a 4x4 four four basic parking lots. And then we can probably do the exact same thing, wordage in here too. And if you're going to be uploading these to the workshop, you don't make it handy for someone else who's trying to download it. If it's just for yourself, you can even use codes, right? as simple as possible. And then the other important thing too is we want to name it within our internal drive. So this is what you would see on um, the workshop and in the game itself. And then your backend folder, you can make it whatever you want. So we can just do four, four by four parking. Cool, right? That's all there is to it. So simple. And then when you're ready to upload this, um, you'll find that under your like Steam profile under like assets you've created. And I think you can do that from, I want to say like the launcher slash the website. I don't know about the the game menu, um, but let's not worry about that though. Okay, um, the really handy thing, since we're going to be making more parking lot, is we can actually use this one to um, get us started with the next one. So we'll widen this, and what we'll do now is add some accessibility on uh, on either end. And, you know, variety is a spice of life. So the more types of parking lots we make, the more variety, the better it is in the end. And what's really cool too is to do it all at once. You know, build them off each other. Make it very easy for yourself. Stack that deck. All right, so let's put these in. And then one on that side. And something that we're going to add to this one, because the parking lot's getting a little bit bigger, is we're going to add just a little bit of accessories. Let's use. Not, not, not terrible. Not the best, though. Yeah, I think we made the effort before. Let's, uh, let's try this again here. Now, watch there be some, like, revolutionary way to, like, line these up. And I don't even know it. Can you imagine? Like, oh, Imperial, why aren't you doing the line them up tool? And I'll be like, oh, I don't know. So, guys, if you have those kind of, like, tips for me, totally help me out. I will read these comments. I'm a little bit slow sometimes to respond, but help me out. Okay, that's not so bad. And then, yeah, uh, just really simple lighting. So, one and two. Even if you don't do too much day-night stuff in terms of your um, uh, gameplay, 
just adds a little bit more to it, right? Did we need the um, lighting in the first one? Eh, maybe not. And the cool thing is you can always load up an asset and change it if you want to. And then, of course, you can re-upload it to the, uh, the workshop and make the change there. Okay, so everything else we're keeping the same. That's the beauty also of just kind of keeping the same asset um, uh, template. And uh, let's save this one, and then we'll put the accessibility parking in the, uh, the next one. Okay, so we'll do... Um, oh, pictures, pictures, pictures. Very important. Um, so grab that one. Make that a little bit straighter. And honestly, if you have a hard time lining it up, just do like the intentional. You're like, I'm definitely not trying to line it up. But if you're like, you know, like this and it's almost, that might drive someone more crazy. So exaggerate it if you're one of those people that like, I can never get that angle. Don't fret one bit. You can make it work, my friend. And then same idea. Do you seem like whatever, whatever captures the mood just right. And I'm sure I can remember if I mess around with it. But yeah, here we go. There is a time of day setting. Yeah. So if you have your day-night cycle on, you can um, get some night shots if you want to. And then I believe... I'm going to get ahead of myself here. I believe you can get traffic. I'm not, not overly confident of that one, but maybe we can explore that one day too. Okay. So again, everything is saved. This is so simple, right? So we've changed it now to be a six by four. So it depends on like in your mind what makes more sense. I would say because we're six and four, maybe the six goes here. I don't know. But see how easy this is? And then we got the pictures from before, so we want to find the newer ones where things get a little bit crazy. So we can see the wider picture. That's not so bad right there. And then we're just going to make sure that we got the uh, the wide one, because that, you can see, is not the right one. There we go. That works. Um, okay. Now, that may not be the uh, the greatest of pictures, so I probably could have taken maybe one extra. Is that the long boy? That's the long boy. We'll keep that one. And then we'll change our internal to also just matches up. So six by four. Easy peasy. All right, next one. Just a little bit wider. And this is where things will get, I think, kind of fun. So, uh, you know, the personal preference. You might be like, bro, I have no, no, absolutely not. But maybe, I mean, maybe. So if nothing else, maybe this is just some inspiration, right? So what I'd like to do here, we're keeping in mind of the uh, assets and everything being used. We're not going to go overboard, but I'm going to switch on over and find some flower beds. And so we could use um, a series of these guys. Um, maybe not the best one, right? These are pretty handy. So if you want to make a little bit of a um, decorative feature on one end, very, very lovely one to use. But what we're after here are the narrow. These are great too. I'm getting distracted. Um, we're after the narrow flower bed which isn't even in this tab. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's over in uh, the parks. Oh, there they are. So uh, dealer's choice, whatever you like more, color-wise. And we're going to throw one of these down as a way to kind of like, please don't drive sideways through the, uh, the parking lot. And then we're going to put in on one side um, accessibility parking, and then on the other side some um, uh, electric parking. And I'll do my best here to make these look even. If not, oh dear. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad there. Okay, so this is where I might lose you. Or you might be like, oh, I don't know, bro. But other other you might be like, okay, cool. So we don't really have, per se, like, the poles, I don't think. I mean, maybe if we do, I don't know where they are. Uh, that's a ventilation pipe. I was like, maybe that's it. But yeah, so you got to be a little bit creative, right? So, like, this itself could be your electric charging port. And what's a cool way to do it, right? So we, um... Uh, I want uh, solar panels. Horizontal solar panels. Do, 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 do. So let's say on this end, where the electric vehicles are, is we have, we're going to try to like show that this is a um, uh, like a green initiative and that it's for electric cars. And a little bit of make-believe can get us there, right? So a ventilation pipe, we got a couple options here. We can do this one. Um, we're going to spread these out when we get the parking spots in. And if we wanted to as well, we could do what would look like a little bit of infrastructure to go alongside something like that maybe worked in instead of having the uh, the flower box but you know whatever you feel like kind of makes it all all connect together there all right so where was the parking spot itself okay great and then from a symmetrical perspective let's go from the middle we're going to give ourselves enough room here that we can put in those um 
little uh, little poles, which in this case, the movie Magic, is um, just a ventilation shaft. But that's right, no one has to know that. It's our little secret, of course, right? Little mailbox, yeah, right. No, 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 come on. All right, now where were those? Uh, before you get too carried away. This game always has opportunities to be, I think, a little bit silly, which I like. Yeah. So, I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but, like, if you're kind of, like, doing the old zoom over of a city, you might be like, oh, that's cute. I get what's going on here. And then what's really fun, too, is people can be like, oh, how did you do that? What are these assets? Where is this from? What are your secrets? And then all of a sudden, you're a pro when you show your friends how to do this, right? That's the way. All right, now on this side, let's just put in some accessibility parking. And unfortunately, we don't get those individually. But that's not the end of the world. Some is better than none. Okay, so same idea. We're going to try to line these up just kind of in the middle here. And, you know, because of the um, solar panels, we're going to give it a little bit more space. That also is just being polite, so we can kind of get, uh, you know, wheelchairs, strollers, that kind of stuff around too. Cool. Well, I think that might be it for this one. That's kind of fun, right? So a little bit unique. I think it's um, symmetrically still kind of fits the bill. I'm not sure if this is like terrifying in the eyes or not. And uh, yeah, I, I would use this. I think we will use this. All right, so same idea. To keep it simple at this point, let's just get one good shot. So we're going to keep rolling through and doing some guesswork here. And this one, to make it a little bit more straightforward for when you're looking at it from the, uh, the workshop, is that one, two, three. So simple, right? So personal preference. You're the photographer. That's the model. All right, so we're saving this, and we're an 8 by 4 now. And instead of basic, we're going to have an 8 by 4 parking lot, just to make it sound a little bit more sexy. And you're like, rolling your eyes, I feel, oh, never mind, oh, for God's sakes, I'm trying. Okay, 8 by 4 parking, pretty straightforward. We can change around the description, all that stuff later if we want to. And we're just going to scroll through and find, um, I think the most recent of pictures is what we should be getting if I am doing this correctly. No, okay, so the game has a sense of humor. We're gonna have to go through and find, um, there it is, what feels like the right one. Cool, and again, no problem if you make these all wrong, you can just fix it later, that's totally no problem. Excellent. Okay, so now that we have an idea on how to use some parking lots, why don't we just kind of shift gears a little bit here and um, make some parks. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to come back later and I'm going to make a few more options and we're going to make some like super wide boys and it's the exact same idea, but what we'll end up doing is like, you know, doubling and tripling this kind of stuff. But I think this is more than enough to get you guys started here. So hopefully you won't grill me for uh, using the menu be like, where did those come from? Um, we can go really big, by the way, too, like 13 by 12. That's cool. So let's start with this. And we don't want any of the same variables, so we're actually going to create a new asset this time, just to kind of reset the um, the deck. So back into parks. Pretty straightforward right here. Now this one, we don't want it always unlocked too, because it's going to be very tempting just to place down too early. So why don't we make these ones here um, at least milestone one. Wait, milestone one requirement? Wait, what? Oh, require. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. You can probably make some really cool stuff then for personal challenges. I just, I literally have like the light bulb like popping over my head right now. This is so wild. All right, milestone one. Let's don't, don't get ahead of yourself here. All right. So I want a grandiose park. That is the idea of this thing. That's why we're large and in charge right now. Do we need to paint it? Not necessarily. You know, if you want a little bit of um, difference. Now this is going to be, I hate to say, I think I actually have a map theme or something running in the background, which is what's going to be causing a slightly different amount of, um, um, what is it, color variation for me, I want to say. So let's just get back to normal here. And that should be, can I remove this? Yeah, there we go. So if we right click, we can remove, there we are, start fresh. And I'm just going to double check here. I might actually have a, um, no, I guess it's just the, the oh, re there it is. There it is. Sorry, guys. This was throwing you off this whole time. 
this is what the game's supposed to look like. Oh my goodness, what a difference. Oh, then you know what? I think all my pictures for that, oh boy. Well, that's gonna confuse someone. That's okay, we caught this now. <laughs> goodness gracious me. As you can tell, I sometimes play a modded version of the game. It's fun, give it a try. I like it. Um, okay, what are we doing here? Um, I would like to have basically a walkway that goes through and just kind of note here, if we run the um, pathway the opposite direction, take note where the, um, uh, what are they called? Street lights are. So if you want them kind of like next to each other like that, do it one way. If you want them um, away from each other, do them both in the same um, uh, direction. Or in this case, we're going there. Yeah, so if you want, like, a wider walkway. All right, so what I would like is um, walkway going in. In the middle, I'm going to have a um, gazebo with some signs. I'm going to put a, um, a garbage can, some benches, and we'll have, like, a little um, like a little bulletin board for the community. And the one thing I love about this is the size of it. Um, I was going to do a 12 by um, 12. I don't know how we ended up on a 12 by 8. I don't remember what I just did right there, but I'm keeping this. I like the, the rectangular body shape here. All right, so let's go for it. So um, pathways, they were somewhere a second ago. Oh gosh, how do you always do this? You just lose stuff so fast. I literally just had it. Common. Oh, there's no, no, oh, here it is, parks, decoration. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Okay, so keep it in mind how we want to have the, um, uh, the lights. So they're going to be on the inside. I remember once upon a time, the last time I did this, I was not um, conscientious of the fact that this was different, depending on the direction you would uh, lay them. So I had some that if I could go back, I'd change, you know? But it's okay now. And what's cool too is like, this will really nicely connect to um, other pathways. You could plop this down kind of like in the middle of a, a big open space uh, alongside a road and then just continue the um, pathways out. Otherwise, if you draw a road around this, it becomes a nice big old um, community park. You can access it pretty much any which way. And I really like doing this kind of stuff because it kind of breaks down the um, concrete jungle feel. And yeah, it kind of gives your city a little bit more uniqueness. So all, all pros in, in my mind here. So something we could do if we wanted, it was pave the middle right here. And then we could try to do if we wanted to, we could make this a little bit different too. We can pave over. So it's just total preference, right? Um, let's find a park piece. I'm looking for, I believe they call it the pavilion. It's one of my, yeah, here it is. Yeah, pavilion. Easily one of my favorite vanilla assets. It's really, really charming. And another one too they have is kind of like an open picnic thing. And I've got no idea where that one is. But it looks kind of like this but like a lot bigger and open. Different take on a pavilion, but this works perfectly. And then alongside, this is where things are kind of fun. So it has some benches kind of facing into the square. I'm gonna do our absolute best to line these up. Otherwise we're not gonna be too hard on ourselves if we can't get it. That's great right there. Click a few times, make sure those are uh, facing the right direction. I'm going to do that instead of just trying to um, manually turn it 180, because I might be off by like one or two pixels. And again, you know, like not the end of the world if they don't 100% line up. You can do your best. Maybe these aren't bolted to the ground and people get a little cavalier sometimes and move them. Um, and then we also probably want something maybe facing inward. Hmm. And then maybe even a picnic table or something. You know, there's just so many options here. But we said we wanted some like cork boards and that kind of stuff, right? So let's take a look. What do we got? So where's the way in? Right over here. So let's put down a garbage can so you can be responsible citizens. Let's put down um, recycling and whatnot alongside so you can be extra responsible and sort your trash. We have a tourist attraction sign that probably says sort your trash, people. It's our, it's our favorite park. Keep it, keep it friendly. Keep it green. Okay, and then we want... Oh, these are great to use, by the way. They're little... Um, these are from the Park Life DLC. So if you're going to be using this kind of stuff, you're going to have to flag it in your um, description if you want other people to download it and then not have these items disappear. So that's kind of the only, like... 
you know, asterisk to the whole thing here. This is probably why I'm not going to use him, so we can keep this more accessible for more people. But it, it's kind of cool. You can do a lot more layering. Always are kind of fun to use, too. Man, there's just so many things you can do with this game. Like, dude, that's incredible. With the outdoor chess sets. I kind of want a couple of these now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do them on the side where the um, walkway isn't. Oh, we're getting the right kind of carried away now. And again, like, come back to these later. Use them as templates. Like, change some stuff around. Maybe you have a different style as your um, game hours increase. You know, come back. All right, so we got garbage, a little information sign. We got some lighting, which is pretty important, I think. Um, and just maybe a few more benches. And then some other stuff we could do if we were trying to take this, like, say, over the edge when it comes to um, the detailing is we could put in, if I can find them, who even knows where they are? Um, we could put in some fences. Oh, here they are. That wasn't too difficult. And I'm going to grab... Oh, are these? Oh, they're all interesting. I thought park... Oh... So I thought when the Park Life DLC came out that they did one version of these fences that was vanilla. But you know what? Again, since it's not a vanilla asset, let's not go ahead and make this um, an asset that not everyone can download. We can do castle walls. Oh my gosh. Too silly. No, no, no. Don't overthink this, please. Keep it simple. But you can kind of see the endless possibilities. You can make a park. You can make a dog park. You can incorporate um, a bunch of different DLC items. So we're going to do a sign that says City Park. And we'll have a... Um, there's like a little cork board or something. Oh, that's the zoo. Is it this thing here? Fountains. Oh, my God. I feel like a kid in a candy store right now. I really have not booted up the asset editor in forever. It's so cool to see all this stuff here. And then, of course, like, duh, you know, the uh, DLC stuff would show up, right? Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Yeah, dog sign. Part. Yeah, yeah, this thing here. So kind of like a little message board, you know, you're coming in be like, hey, I've got like a room to rent. Or if you need like music lessons, you know, or whatever that is. And then look, a dog watering station. Yes. For our doggo friends. Perfect. Don't want to neglect them. And what's really friendly, look, it's got a people water station too at the top. Oh, perfect. So you drink water. And little little Fido drinks water too. Too cute. Okay, now what's a little something something maybe we can put in here to kind of help with that symmetrical um, vibe? Hmm. We could do more of these. I don't want it to feel crowded though. And then another thing we could possibly do was um, maybe find like a flower box or something. This is a little bit too big. Or is it? No, yeah, it's a little bit too big. And as long as it's not part of a DLC, I'm pretty happy to use it. So let's explore some options here. Or maybe little tiny fountains for our bird friends. Hmm, that's kind of cute. You know what? Like, it's not it's not bad. It just kind of seems a little bit off, though. If, like, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I, I feel like we need something that kind of complements that. Um, we could go in a different direction and try to put in, like, a little um, uh, food stall set up here. That might be kind of a cute idea. So, I have a reason to kind of, like, sit down and uh, and stop. So, like, a little news article. A little vending machine. I think that could be kind of a cute... Yeah, there we go. That's kind of fun. And so this, yeah, this a couple times throughout the city, that might look kind of nice, right? And then again, use this as a template so you can change the accessories, pull out some of those kind of things, but maybe keep the centerpiece um, uh, as it is forever. That's kind of cool. Now, if I were to say anything, it's missing some trees. So let's go ahead and toss down a couple of those and say that we're done. Now, what trees are we going to use? Oh, that's always a tough one. How do you pick a favorite tree? Um, geez, Louise, eh? Now, the mighty oak, nothing wrong with that, eh? Nothing wrong with that. We could, oh, if we had a good old-fashioned maple. Boy, I tell you what. Um, now, an alder tree has the vibe of a maple. No, it does not. Maybe the, uh, no, they don't. What is this? Oh, kind of do. But, you know, maple for, like, maple leaves, right? For us Canadians. But, yeah, no. Did they forget about us? Maybe. But, yeah, no, I think that's probably okay. I don't want to go overboard. We could do a row of trees. 
There's just so many possibilities. And then a really cute thing you can do, if I can just maybe um, give you guys one last little bit of um, inspiration before we try a different park here, is um, we can always find the bushes, these little guys here. And if we wanted to maybe line some of the areas to give a bit more of a like a nice landscaped kind of feel to it. I feel like, you know, the game, especially in a vanilla setting, it's a little bit challenging sometimes to make it feel like it's unique. You can kind of see here, I'm just kind of cycling to get a little bit of a, a bigger hedge. Some of these have been uh, getting more, um, more, more plant uh, fertilizer than others, right? So yeah, that might be a nice little thing to, uh, to end it off, right? And then um, we're going to do not as much concrete in the other park. So it has a lot more of a, um, uh, like a nature vibe to it. And the cool thing is, like, the come back anytime you want. I think I've said, like, 12 times now. Probably not that many. But, yeah, to the, um, to this. Like, as the city evolves, you're going to be like, oh, you know what would be really cool in that one spot is a park that's, like, 8 by 12 that's got, you know, you know what I mean? And we're building it right now. And later on, you know, when you need an airport and you're like, oh, you're going to be so cool, 12 by 12 parking. And by that point, like, you're, you're a pro, you're ready, you know? There we go. That's kind of cool. I think we need more trees now. Trees, I mean, they're just so easy to get carried away with them. They're just so wonderful, too. Nature's friends providing shade and uh, air, I guess, as a bonus, right? All right, cool. So let's save this. And then, um, again, we're like, we're going overboard here. If you want to do more detailing, I guess I'm just kind of trying to inspire you guys here. If you want just little extras, this is a fun one here. Line your um, uh, pathway with a dirt one. And see that little spot there where it creates an opportunity for um, a tree? Plant one, you know? If you don't like the look of that, get rid of the little arms right here. Boom, right? Move those back even, you know what I mean? So there's little bits of detail. You know, there's not a lot necessarily to work with from a vanilla perspective. Not terrible, though. Oh, I kind of wish that worked. Let's see what it looks like with a tree in there. I almost can't resist it. But you are the artist here. This is your template. Do whatever you feel is the correct one. So that could be the million dollar touch right here. Happy accidents, my friend. All they are are just happy accidents. It's an opportunity. It's either a mistake or an opportunity. Okay, that's so cool. I like it. I love it. All right. Let's, uh, let's save it. So pictures. One of each, please. Oh, slightly zoom that one out. Excellent. So we'll save this one here. And um, our dimensions are 12 by 8. 12 by 8. And we are a city park. And we can just do the old copy and pasta and pasta. All right, so that's definitely the thumbnail we want. Maybe not super lined up. That's okay. That's fine. And then that's what we want for down there. That's kind of cool. Now, because we're on the new asset, we've created another subfolder. So we don't have to get as finicky with the um, um, uh, pictures here. So we'll save that. Excellent. And then, yeah, just like one more park, but the one that just kind of feels like we're putting in filler to get green space and trees, which will be pretty, uh, pretty cool. So this might be, I don't know, kind of chaotic, I want to say. And we're definitely going to make it as big as we can. 12 by 12 for um, uh, aesthetic, um, even Steven perspectives. But the 13 is kind of cool to throw in. The old Baker's dozen. All right. So uh, a new park. First thing we want to do really quickly is just toss that for milestone one. The maintenance, everything, that's totally fine the way it was before. Um, we want 12 by 12. I don't think we can do, we can do 13 by 13? No, see, it's only one, yeah. One valuable can be 13. All right, so 12 by 12. And then do we go for like chaos? Hmm. And like, what is, what is chaos in this situation? Well, chaos can be like, you know, just like a little bit of a, uh, there's no real rhyme or reason, you know? We're a little bit out of the, the border here. Making the Half-Life 3 logo by accident. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever just kind of like makes you feel like, oh yeah, that's what I want. And then same idea, we can connect more of these pathways to it when we're in the game itself, or we can just kind of ring this with a um, 
uh, like a little uh, um, set of roads. Or, you know, more pathways or whatever, right? A lot of endless opportunity here. So let's make this again like a little bit more free roaming. And just like in real life, um, I believe they call them paths of discovery. So if, um, say like an engineer had created a nice curving arc and you're trying to get to the sidewalk down here, but the overwhelming majority of people, let's say a bus lets you off right here, overwhelming majority of people are going to start walking like this, right? So you might have a paved portion like that, but you might have this just from people kind of wearing out the uh, the grass. So that's kind of an interesting food for thought, right? When you're doing your, um, your parks and pathways. You know, some of it is the intended route. Others are the uh, little makeshifters, right? So whatever, whatever you're kind of feeling, you know, maybe that's kind of how that one happened, right? But yeah, I think in this case, though, we're not going to go too much into the um, cement. So nice little pathway, easy on the eyeballs. And then I'm going to kind of steer away from doing too many assets. It'd be nice just to fill this in with some um, trees and a little bit of variety. And we'll throw down, um, you know, some refuse receptacles, that kind of stuff. Like garbage cans, you know. Refuse receptacles. It's like Oxford English right here, I say. What's all this then? Um, little trees, because trees are fun in all sizes. A little flower tree as well. Kind of like a, a makeshift arboretum, if you will. That's a really pretty one. That's a little bit too bright. Oh, yeah. See, so, yeah, just like in nature, like variety, spice of life. And I wonder where they are. Oh, yes, they are. So these things here, um, the vegetation, fantastic to use in between the uh, the trees here. If you're kind of going for a, um, a slightly overgrown vibe, which is what we are right now. And we also want to make it seem like maybe there's a little bit of maintenance, you know? So they're coming in every once in a while, but you can kind of see now that the tree's gone, what that looks like, right? So we'll throw that big one back in. You know, some of the leaves maybe have fallen down, that kind of stuff, right? And I think, like, you know, the more layers you kind of add, right? We're making a layer cake here. The better it'll uh, it'll taste. But there is a point, too, just like a layer cake, where if you add too much, there's too many, too many taste profiles going on, right? So it, it is that fine balance. And... I think to kind of get to that balancing point, you do need to kind of just, yeah, go through the experience of doing a few of these, right? And they will eventually, yeah, start speaking to you. You'll you'll feel like, you know, this is it. This is what I want. Put them in your city. Live with them for a little bit. Change your mind later. Okay, so let's get some assets in here to enjoy the view. It's a little collection of benches. Now, these ones, I don't think people are going to be able to get to the picnic tables, but what a cute little thing to put in there, though, isn't it? And I, this great song in the background, too. Like, this game, man. I'm getting goosebumps right now. This game, thinking about how wonderful it is, this very moment right now. I don't know where you are in the world watching this, but crazy that we are connected via a video game. Oh, my goodness. The feels. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? Really cool. Always good to have you with us. All right, so as we enter, let's do a little little signage. Which way is that sign facing? Can I see in the light? There it is, City Park. So let's um, aim that like this as we enter. And then just using the same message board, little things like that. That's kind of cute and fun, right? And then this time around, no pavilion. It's a little bit too much, I think. So some recycling, some garbage. There's some uh, dog waste right there. And then I think we just need like one one more something right there. Oh, oh, an ice cream truck. Oh, what a cute little thought. Oh, my goodness. Or this could be like a food truck as well. Not necessarily ice cream, right? But cute. I love it. Yeah, so I mean, that's, I think that's, yeah. Is this it? I think so. That's kind of cool. Maybe a little bit more trees. I can't help it. Sometimes you just need that extra bit. Yeah, you don't need some more variety. That's what we want. 
Yeah, the you can kind of yeah, I think so. And then I'd say it's important too when you're going to be designing the area in terms of decoration, use the same trees again. Feels pretty uh, pretty convincing that way. Oh, it's, that honestly is grand. It's so simple, but I love it. Oh boy, simple things for simple minds, I guess, right? Oh boy. All right, so let's save this one here. Oh, we didn't take any pictures yet, you silly. Here's one. There's two. And let's zoom out slightly. Okay. And so this one is a 12 by 12 city park. Copy, pasta, and pasta. Cool. And then same idea. We're a new asset. So it's pretty straightforward. Cool. Done. All right, well, guys, I think that's it. I'm going to try a few more of these. We'll let them be a surprise. Might be one or two other parks and uh, definitely some other parking lots. And um, yeah, you know, if you really like them, I'll put them in the workshop. Otherwise, this is kind of a cool. Oh, my hot dog. Hang on. Hang on. You know what we didn't do in this park? Lighting. I just realized. Hold on. Um, marker clack. Um, okay, we're back. Um, take two. Hold on one second here. Yeah, just a little bit of lighting. That's actually a really good point. So, let me put these behind the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, and then we'll throw one just over here, and then a street lamp too. What do those ones look like? Are they a different color temperature? No, they're the same one. If I were to do anything lighting-wise, I would maybe look for one that instead of a white light, it would be like a yellow light, but I don't think I have that option there. But yeah, I, we just don't want our parks to feel unsafe at night. That's kind of a really important thing here for everyone who's walking through. So though we're going for like pure nature aesthetics, still want to be able to see what's happening here. So no one can sneak up on you or anything like that, right? Or, you know, if you drop like your, your phone, right? You want to be like, oh God, where did that go? Okay. A little bit more convincing. And let's now back that up. Hold on, we're getting deja vu here. Um, start that again. One two, three, and then we're going to save this, and we're going to overwrite the um, previous, if that's even possible. I think it is. Are you? I hope so. I don't know which one's which now. <laughs> oh, God. What a disaster. It'll help me. Yeah, overwrite. Okay, cool. We're good. I take it all back. We're okay. It may or may not have been the right pictures, but that is a-okay. They'll find out at night that it's good, and you guys will know because you're here. All right, so that's um, that's what I want. We did it. We got we got what we're after here. So these will make their way into the city, as well as the other ones that I will be creating. And that's kind of fun. That little chaotic just kind of it worked out. And uh, the next episode, we're going to try to incorporate not only this stuff, but the new content creator packs that have also come out. So, so much is happening. Very good to have you back. I will see you in the next episode, which I'll get out very quickly. And um, I missed you guys. I love your faces. We'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy this kind of stuff, like share it with your friends, hit the like, all that dorky stuff. If you're brand new and you haven't subscribed by this point, what are you doing? Let's go. All right, guys. See you again. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next episode. Happy building and all the best.